Hi guys! Your friend is taking part in an interesting sports competition. You would like to take a good photo of him? In this video, we will show you what techniques you can use to make your photos a success. Fascinating racetrack or outdoor action impose certain special conditions on a photographer's work. The key to success here is the ability to make quick decisions and anticipate situations. Sports photography is truly exciting and full of emotions. The joy of victory, the fury of defeat, the effort of struggle, all of this can be seen on the faces of sports people. The photographer's task is to show these emotions in a picture. Costumes, vehicles and surroundings make sport a real feast of colors too. Rule 1. Learn the rules of the sports discipline. Learn the rules of the sports discipline you photograph. You will know what order of events to expect and accurately anticipate how situations might develop. Rule 2. Set your camera to the right mode. Set the sports mode or use the shutter priority or aperture priority mode. You can go for the fully manual mode too. Use the continuous high speed mode to shoot rapid series of photos and choose the best ones later. The surefire way to avoid the blur is to set shutter speed to 1 640th of second or faster. With such a short exposure time, increase the ISO value to 400 or 800 when taking photos in a cloudy weather or inside sports facilities, but then you must allow for greater image noise. If possible, use continuous autofocus. This will allow you to follow the selected subject and push the shutter release button at any moment without wasting time to set the focus. Rule 3. Motion freezing and panning. You can show motion in two ways, by freezing or by panning. We use very short exposure times, 1 to 640 of a second or shorter, to freeze motion. Use panning when you wish to convey the dynamics of action. You will achieve this effect by following the subject movement with the camera, which will result in blurred background and the subject remaining sharp. When you want to blur the unnecessary and distracting background, apply minimum aperture.
Rule 4. Use various lenses. There are two kinds of lenses you can use. A wide angle lens is suitable for general and group shots. A telephoto lens will be appropriate for long distance shots or close ups. You will need image stabilization in this case. It enables taking handheld photos even when lighting is poor. In sports photography, it is best to use bright lenses such as f2.8 or f4. Unless a lens of this kind is used, the subject in the photo may be simply too small. Rule 5. Use a monopod or a tripod. For extreme close-ups, use a tripod or at least a monopod to avoid camera shake blur. A monopod is less stable. Use it when it is impossible to set up a tripod. Rule 6. Anticipate events. The skill of anticipating events is essential. Holding the camera at the right moment and in the right place gives you a chance to take a good photo. You must predict where the subject will possibly be. Then set the focus and just press shaker this when the subject appears. Rule 7. Frame your photo properly. Frame your photo in such a way as to show the space in front of a runner or a racing car. The kind of composition won't kill dynamics in motion and the photo will have a better effect. You can also use vertical framing, especially when you want to show the entire silhouette of an athlete. Rule 8. Capture an interesting moment. Show the decisive and interesting moment, struggle for victory, the moment of crossing the finish line or the bitterness of defeat. Capture the emotions. It is the emotions visible on the face that draw the viewer's attention the most. Just like in this photo, you can see the effort of the cyclist struggling to pedal up a steep hill.